You know, there's a lot of people out there that believe that we should be locked down and all of these things because it's going to save lives. Stay home to save lives, I believe the hashtag is. Um, well, I think you're about to be very shocked about the things that I'm about to reveal to you that apparently the mainstream media doesn't exactly want to talk about. And it's shocking, y'all. It's horrendous. And you know what? You might be part of this problem. This time, you think that, oh, we're staying home and it's gonna save lives. What if I tell you that staying home to save lives is actually killing far more people than this corona situation ever could. You don't believe me? You think I'm crazy and you're going to click off. Why? Because you're a narcissist. Not all of you, just many. And you don't think past your nose. But you need to listen and you need to hear these numbers. Because we need to do something and we need to do something fast. Because this is affecting a, a countless, I can't even count how many it is. See, I hear, this is the same argument I keep getting. Oh, so you don't care about your grandparents, or you don't care about other people's grandparents, or what, you don't care about your kids? What if you get your kids sick by doing this, this, and that? What you're really thinking I know this is gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. But what you're really thinking when you say that is, what about me? What about my life? You might get me sick. That's what you're doing. You might not consciously know it, but it's true. We in the West have become absolute narcissists. Me pointing a camera up at my face right now is quite narcissistic. Um, but the things that we have done over the last years have turned us into uh, sheep that can't, that don't even process logic. And it, it really is boggling my mind how this is still continuing. Empty streets, empty sidewalks, empty intersections, empty stores, empty businesses, all because you think you're saving lives. Let's get into what's actually happening and what we can do about it. You know, I actually started this video by, I was going to talk about how elderly, how, to, how the elderly are being highly affected uh, for the most part. But whenever I started seeing this, I, I, I couldn't believe it. We're still going to talk about the elderly and things like that, but let's get into this. Chilling, scariest coronavirus death toll may not come from COVID-19. A great deal of scientific research indicates the corona, you know, COVID containment strategy will cause more deaths than COVID-19 would have ever. Slowing coronavirus death toll coincides with surging SP500. Oh, let me come down here. The link between unemployment and suicides will be a concern and it has to be addressed with, wait, while the majority, I'm sorry, while the majority of the population stays in to duck the coronavirus. <laughs> That's funny. I actually say, uh, remember when we were called the home of the brave and now all of a sudden we're the cowards in a cave? But let's continue. While many countries are in lockdown to prevent COVID-19, deaths, the reaction to coronavirus is likely to kill more than the disease itself. And many of you have already heard this, but wait, I'm going to show you the numbers 
that prove this is absolutely a fact. That's because coronavirus layoffs have already surged across the U.S. and unemployment projections are already as high as 4.6 million. This was about a week ago. I believe the number is about 10 million right now. Meanwhile, there's a firm body of scientific literature establishing a strong link between unemployment and higher suicide rates. Many people will die because coronavirus, but drastic containment strategies in many countries may leave even many, even more dead. Alarming. All right, let's skip down here. The wholesale lockdown of so much of the economy has created such a great financial loss, disruption, and panic that job layoffs have skyrocketed. Years of record low unemployment rates are about to end abruptly. This was actually put out three or four weeks ago, almost four weeks ago now. It was on March 15th. Let me check. So, uh, so things have gone up exponentially since here. Let me see. Reports from businesses and local officials across the country portend, portend a wave maybe that's supposed to say reported, a wave of coronavirus unemployment cases unseen since the Great Recession. While unemployment applications in Ohio increased sevenfold this week to 45,000, filings jumped 12-fold in New Jersey to 15,000 on Monday. Over the weekend, Connecticut unemployment cases surged eightfold to 8,000. Rhode Island had 10 unemployment claims on March 11th and 6,282 on March 16th. An NPR Marks, Mar, Maurice poll conducted over the weekend found one in five households have already reported someone being laid off. One in five. One in five, y'all. Or having their hours reduced because of the response to coronavirus. Absolutely. Of course. This is horrific. Those earning under 50000 were hit harder, with one in four households affected by corona layoffs. Josh Bivens, research director at the Center Left Economic Policy Institute, estimates 3 million jobs will be gone by summer. No, it's already $10 million. On Wednesday, Treasury Secretary, um, piece of crap, we're not going to talk about him. He only cares about money. Um, a recession is deadlier than the coronavirus. So far, COVID-19, the disease caused by coronavirus, has been a factor in over 8,000 deaths globally, but the Great Recession claimed far more lives. A study by researchers at Imperial College London linked 500,000 cancer deaths to the Great Recession. What? They found that unemployment and health care cuts lead to these half a million tragedies. God dang. There is a robust scientific literature on the link between unemployment and higher suicide rates. Researchers at the University of Otago, Otago found labor force status is a strong predictor of suicide rate. It absolutely is. And I'm about to show y'all some crazy numbers, some crazy story. Ugh. The paper says unemployment is strongly associated with suicide death among 18 to 24 year old men, white men. Uh, but those people don't count, unfortunately. So let's check out these study these suicide and domestic abuse. Reynolds says the downside of shelter in place is mental health. This was a couple of days ago, and they're saying oh, pretty much across the country they're saying that domestic violence is up exponentially. I, we don't need to go through each one. Where do addicts and domestic abuse victims turn for help when they're stuck inside? Good question. Here's how coronavirus measures are affecting people with depression, anxiety, addiction, PTSD, eating disorders, and more. That That's another big thing. They, they can't have AA meetings, NA meetings. They can't have their normal um, sessions. So they're doing it on Zoom. Yeah, that fighting anxiety from coronavirus. Yeah, if you've ever had anxiety being stuck in your house when you need to just go for a walk or something, but now we're threatened with getting arrested. Wow. British teen dies after suicide attempt due to corona fears. March 25th. I bet mo most of you never heard anything about this. 
A British teen petrified of being isolated with the coronavirus has died following a suicide attempt, according to a report. Emily Owen, 19-year-old waitress from King Lynn's about... Okay, we don't need to go through all this. This is horrific. And it goes on and on. Amid coronavirus, a surge of calls and calls to Massachusetts Suicide Prevention Hotline. Deaths of Despair, Why America's Medical Industry Explains the Working Class Suicides. Y'all can go through all of these. Uh, if I read each one, it would be all night, and these are all just less than a month old. Some of them, most of them from this week. Some areas of the country see increase in suicide-related calls as coronavirus spreads. Bennett urges quick end to the lockdown. We may have more suicides than virus deaths. Oh, we absolutely will. With unemployment now at 23%, defense minister says the financial hit and massive distress faced by Israelis is potentially more dangerous to their well-being than the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Wilson, man who killed himself in attempted murder-suicide, lost his job and was upset about the coronavirus pandemic, police said. COVID's other tragedies. Higher suicide rates, domestic violence, derailed education, shorter lifespans, decrease in public health services. And then we have COVID-19. And that's not a, that's not a joke, y'all. This is bad. I mean, I'm not going to make this video 10 hours long or anything, but people need to think about what's going on and let's weigh out the risk versus reward here and not your narcissism. Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs, 12 dead by suicide during coronavirus pandemic. Wow. In East T Tennessee. Coronavirus-related suicide service amid increased anxiety. This was in... Let me see, where was this? Manhattan? More people died from suicide from suicide than coronavirus in Tennessee this week. Yep. Coronavirus 100 days, disease and suicide risk escalate due to efforts, I mean, effects of the coronavirus. Increase in suicides and lockdown and fears other elements will be forgotten. Oh, of course. A rise in suicides and unrelated coronavirus conditions such as heart disease could play a part in this month and years to come as a result of the international lockdown. And you know what? Tim Poole said something. Him and Candace Owens were going back and forth with their little tit for tat, even though they're both um, milk toast, silly, silly fools. But um, he said, oh, well, what's causing all the increase in deaths if it's not COVID? It's easy. Suicide. And not just suicide, but isolation. How many of y'all know that if a baby is not held and given attention, they can die? That's why the U.S. does not have five-year-olds and un under orphanages anymore. They die. They can have all the food they need, um, blankets, everything, a little toy, whatever. But without affection and attention, they will die. Not will, but they do. I'm not going to say, of course, they will. I mean, it's, it's a very high likelihood is what I'm saying. Isolation is a big trigger. Feelings of suicide are amplified amid pandemic. Y'all see how many windows I have open? All different stories. Students are feeling lost. Two Sacramento teens take their lives in separate incidences. Ridiculous. Oh, but, 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 but the coronavirus. Teen allegedly committed suicide after feeling isolated amid coronavirus lockdown. Media coverage of celebrity suicides linked to meaningful rise in suicide rights. Um, that is true, but... And they did put out some suicide show the other day. Suicides in England hit record high in 2019 figures show. And it's just going to get higher. 
The number of suicides recorded in England have risen to a record high after surging by the quarter in two years. New figures reveal. 2020 is going to be drastically higher. Suicides increase across the state and metro Detroit counties. So I want you to know these aren't just like the same topic and these are different states, different incidences. Air Force Academy eases social distancing restrictions after two cadets commit suicide. Because they felt like they were in prison. Yeah. Makes sense. Let me see. Of course. This is horrific. COVID-19 is likely to lead to an increase in suicide. Okay. Yeah, it already is. Thank you, Scientific America. But you, all you have to do is Google suicides and click on news. Calls to suicide prevention crisis hotlines rise 40% between February and March. 40%. Think about all the people that aren't calling. Possible uh, suicide increase during corona pandemic. Um, wait. This is a different one. I think this might be. There's a few murder suicides. Family of four. Murder suicide in Haines City. Police say uh, four people. Let me see. They're calling it a murder suicide. The incident happened Sunday morning in South Dune subdivision. His, uh, a man, his wife, and four, their 14 and 18 year old. Isolation really does this to your mind. Police, Central Florida man sh um, shoots wife and two sons and himself. <sighs> two dead in apparent murder-suicide in Hartsville, officials say. Two people are dead in apparent murder-suicide. Huh. Police investigate murder-suicide in a South Tulsa home. A man and woman died Tuesday morning following an apparent murder-suicide in their Tulsa residence. They were in their 80s. You don't think this is because of this? Oh, it is. Coronavirus fears linked to Illinois' pair uh, murder-suicide. These are different, different incidences, y'all, all within this week. Police investigating murder-suicide of elderly couple in Tulsa. Oh, that's the other one. That's the Tulsa one. Three dead, including woman, juvenile, in double murder-suicide in York County. And these are just the ones I opened. There's, there's tons more. Illinois couple dead in murder-suicide after a man feared they had coronavirus. But eventually they tested negative. Oh, but... But, you know, what they're telling people right now is even if you get a negative test, you should act like you're positive. That's what they're telling people. Three dead in what's described as Zachary murder, suicide police chief says. This is not far from here, from where I live. <sighs> Man's COVID-19 worries prompts a murder, suicide. Joliet, Illinois. This, yo, this is horrific. Look, so I just put suicides, you click news, and it goes on and on. Recent suicide rate, shocking. People who choose suicide often do under pressure. It goes on and on. Father, son, oh, I don't even want to do it anymore. But, People really need to um, start thinking before corona shaming people. Okay, I'm not going to go through any more. There, there's too many, y'all. We all know that the elderly are also at risk very highly because most of them, their only recreation and time that they can get together with other people is at church or something along those lines. And they can't go. So which one's more dangerous? We have currently 0.03% of the population 
who have even been infected by this virus. Yet we have people believing that we need to shut down the country and allow people to just die. You see, that's the narcissism. People aren't worried about other people. They're worried about themselves, not even looking past their noses. It's time to rise up.